Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today we're talking about the new iOS 17.1 which is actually quite a big surprise. Now when initially Apple released this beta, I thought that it will take at least like 6 weeks or maybe even 7 to be released to the public but it turns out things have changed pretty quick. So let's talk about this update, everything you need to know and why I think this will be released actually very, very soon. So first of all, let's talk about uh, some of the new features that Apple has added to this update with the latest beta, which is of course a beta three. First of all, a big change for the action button. This is really welcome that uh, the action button, sometimes it would actually just go off in your pocket. Maybe turn on the flashlight or the camera. Now Apple has made an update and it actually, I think uses like the proximity sensors and it will detect your face and knows when you're actually trying to use your iPhone and that it, then it will of course allow for the action button to actually invoke and not just invoke maybe in your pocket or something like that. Another update here for the icon of the battery on the status bar. Now it used to be a bit more squared. Now it has actually really rounded corners and it looks much, much better. Another change that Apple has made is on the podcast app. Now when you have something in queue and you want to remove it, you will now get a new redesigned remove button for the queue on the podcast app. Now with this update, you will also get the temperature fix. If your iPhone 15, 15 Pro has been overheating, Apple did release iOS 17.0.3 to fix that update. But if you have been on iOS 17.1 beta during that release and you haven't been able to install it, now this latest beta will actually fix that problem as well. Now, Apple has done also an update for the iPhone 12s. This will come out, of course, to the public for users that have an iPhone 12. And this fix will actually fix the radiation issues for the iPhone 12s. You know, in France, they have been banned. And this update should fix that problem for those iPhones. Now, here we have a few more features that have actually been added or updated in beta 2, but we haven't talked about them in the last video. First of all, the page here, the Read Now page, on the books app has now been updated has been a bit redesigned and in my opinion it looks much better than the old version another change has been made to haptics the haptics on ios 17.1 have actually been updated and they're now a bit different than the older one. Of course, if you use haptics on your device, you will notice these changes once you have updated your device to iOS 17.1, of course, from iOS 17.0.3. Now, again, iOS 17.1 is quite a good update, but of course, is not that big when it comes to features and changes. I believe iOS 17.1 Point two will be actually the big update where we will probably get a lot more features. But with iOS 17.1, we also get some pretty cool new features like the options here for the standby mode. So when you go to display here, you will have a few more options. You will have the automatic one after 20 seconds to actually turn off the standby mode. And of course, never if you just don't want to actually turn off the standby mode ever. Now, if you go to the app store, this here is very welcomed. If you go to the app store and you tap on the search bar, previously you had to reach for the search bar right there to actually show the keyboard and search something on the app store with iOS 17.1, you can just double tap there and it will actually show the keyboard. From there, you can of course just go ahead and start searching as easy as that. Moving here under settings, in general, of course, another big feature of iOS 17.1. If you go here and you go to AirDrop, now you can enable AirDrop via seller data. Now AirDrop with iOS 17.1 will be enabled to actually work via the internet. So when you're close to someone, you're of course AirDropping something. If you just get further away, it won't stop the AirDrop because it will continue over the air. And of course, using the internet, and now you can also use your seller data in order to do that. So more features have also been added to the music app with iOS 17. Now you get this like star to actually favorite a song on the music app and you will be able to also do that through the player on the lock screen of your device. When you go to your playlists on, on the music app and you go to actually, let's say, edit one of them, you will be able to actually change the cover here. So you will have a few different like options that the music app will give you and you can just go ahead and choose one of them. And of course, you can 
can still use the cover of one of your songs. Also, you will get an update on the lock screen, which is really nice. When you go to set shuffle photos, shuffle wallpapers on the lock screen of your device, you will be able to pick any of your albums from here. And of course, you can use the entire album or just go ahead and manually pick any photo you want. Now, before we go ahead and talk about the battery and the release of iOS 17.1, which I think I think is a quite a big surprise, let's talk about this amazing performance. Now, this is the score that I got on this device with iOS 17.0, and this right here is the score with iOS 17.1. You can see that amazing increase there. The single core score 2,638, 2,949 on iOS 17.1, while we have here an amazing 7,420 multi-core score, and then of course here 6,767 with iOS 17.0, which means that we have like 700 points increase there, which is amazing. Now, the battery life is actually not that good. Uh, in my experience here on my iPhone 15 Pro Max, I have been getting better battery life with older iOS 17 versions than with iOS 17.1. You will notice here it's actually not that great. This is of course a new device with maximum capacity at 100 and you can see right here the battery that we got. So we can see right here we are at 75%, 3 hours, 58 minutes. You can see this is really bad actually. This one is a bit better with 70, 75%, 7 hours, 44 minutes. Then right here again, 75% exactly, 6 hours, 47 minutes, which is not the worst ever, but it's actually not that great at all. Hopefully, with the next releases of iOS 17.1, we will get an improvement here. Now, what will happen and why I say this is like an, a surprise update? Let's just go ahead and take a look at the settings. And you can see here what I'm talking about. The build number of this beta of iOS 17.1, which is beta 3, it ends with an A. Now, the first beta had like a really low number. I don't re really remember the letter that was at the end. But based on that, I was expecting to actually see maybe 6 or even 7 betas before Apple would release this to the public. And was expecting this update to come at around like the beginning of November. But Apple has changed things and they have moved actually really fast. Now we have this new beta ending with an A, which means that we're very, very close to the release of iOS 17.1. Now, Apple has actually done this previously when they released two betas with an ending with an A. So we might see another beta, which would be beta 4, and that would be next week on the 17th, or the 17th could be the date where we see the RC version getting released. One of these, these things will happen. Either we get another beta and then the RC, or we go straight to the RC on the 17th. And then I would expect the 23rd of October to be the date when Apple will release iOS 17.1 to the public. This is very, very likely, and I believe this will be the date when we get the new iOS 17.1 getting released to the public, which again, it doesn't have a ton of new features, but it has some really good ones that will actually make a change on your iOS 17 device. And as you can see, we have a huge there, a huge improvement on performance, which is always really, really great. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more iOS 17.1 videos, make sure to subscribe. Of course, leave a like if you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you on the next video.